Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a purchase or pass. This is where I talk about new makeup releases, upcoming releases, and my thoughts on them. Will I be purchasing, will I be passing, and you know, sometimes it's undetermined. But without further ado, let me go ahead and get on my phone. I will be leaving some links to places that you can find some makeup information in my description box. Make sure you check them out on Instagram if you like to keep up with makeup like I do. The first product is from MAC Cosmetics, and this is the Fix Plus Vibes Collection. They look beautiful, don't get me wrong, they look beautiful, but there's something in this that just uh, rubs me wrong, and it is that it is the MAC Fix Plus setting spray. <laughs> it says setting spray on there. And being that I worked for MAC for quite a while, and I know that there's other MAC artists out there that it was just drilled into our heads that it's not a setting spray, and <laughs> now all of a sudden it is a setting spray and they haven't changed the ingredients. I don't know if they did with this particular lineup here, but I'm assuming that it's the exact same and it just irks my nerves. Like I was taught not to say that it was a setting spray. There's no claims of longevity or anything like that. And now all of a sudden it's a setting spray. It, it's just weird to me, but long story short, I won't be purchasing these. They are limited edition and they are $16 regularly. Right now it says that they are on sale for $12.80. 42 shades of new foundation to the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Family. Now, shade range for this looks amazing, and the price, $16, it's fragrance-free, but there's, there's a few things that's not good. Like, love the shade range, but I am looking at hydrating foundation infused with coconut water and hyaluronic acid for hydrated, luminous skin. I'm, I've just been having troubles with foundations, with coconut derivatives, coconut oil, coconut water, coconut anything, which is in everything now, and then hyaluronic acid on top of that, which seemingly it's like in some products it works well and in other products it doesn't. And that's because it can do the reverse. It can either bring moisture into the skin or it can take it out. <laughs> and so a lot of the times when it's in a foundation, and it's not at the right level, it will actually dry out my skin. So I think I'm just gonna skip on this, but it's just for those reasons. I don't think it's going to work out well for my skin. Available now from Melt Cosmetics. This is the She's In Parties palette, which actually used to be a plum stack. I don't have that stack, but apparently it used to be a stack. It's retailing for $48, and it's going to be on Sephora on June 30th. So I believe it's available now on the Melt Cosmetics website and tomorrow on Sephora. As for me, I do not plan on picking this palette up just because Melt's palette formula has not been the best in my opinion. I much prefer the stack formula. Speaking of that coconut, <laughs> this is from Huda Beauty and it is available now. It's the Glow Coco Hydrating Mist, a milky spray infused with coconut oil, coconut milk, and coconut water that instantly hydrates while it primes, sets, and refreshes your skin for super glowy and a dewy finish. $35. Uh, yeah, remember I just talked about all those things breaking me out. Uh, so yeah, we're not doing this. I'm a uh, no, no thank you. <laughs> Uh-oh, this is a new foundation from Tom Ford. Oh, this looks this looks promising. Okay, this is the Traceless Soft Matte Foundation, a soft focus matte foundation with hydrating silky formula. So hopefully it's more of like a satin matte instead of like full-on matte. Uh, it says, soft focus microsphere powders blur the look of imperfections and wear extending pigments provide medium full buildable coverage, $88 in 40 shades. Tom Ford is coming through with 40 shades. Yes, 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 yes. It says it will be available July 15th at Sephora and Tom Ford Beauty. I'm going to be checking this out. Definitely checking it out. I was actually really looking forward to this collection from NARS, <laughs> but it doesn't look like I'm going to get it. It's the Zen collection, but it's a Japan exclusive. And I'm just kind of sad because I really wanted these. And okay, there was something I said about the new Natasha Denona palette, the, uh, what is it called? The bronze palette. I said it was boring and <laughs> I like boring palettes. I think that was a little misunderstood. The The colors just, there were a lot of the same colors and it was just unappealing to me. 
It didn't draw me in. And I love a good boring palette. I've got one on today. Let me tell you, my top drawer is full of boring palettes. This one from Too Faced, this is what I have on today. But you see, we've got a range of colors instead of the same, 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 same. I have my little MAC palette that I just keep dropping on the floor. So the poor shades are like all funky. <laughs> I've got my Tarte Aspen Ovard palette up here. My Pillow Talk palette. I've got a lot of boring palettes. I have the Victoria Beckham Smoky Eye Brick. Just several things that are definitely boring everyday palettes, but that one just doesn't give it to me. It's just something about that one that I'm not into. These little boring palettes, I wanted. I wanted both of these, and I probably would have grabbed the two first lipsticks and left the third one because I don't think I would have worn that color. <sighs> but unless I can get my hands on it some other way, I don't think I'll be able to get it, but that's okay. I live in the US, I get most of the releases and I have that unfair advantage. So I'm, I'm gonna get over it, I'm, I'm gonna get over it. If you watch my channel, you know I'm not a Morphe girl. I'm just not a Morphe girl. <laughs> I'm not saying I've never tried anything from Morphe. I have, but just typically I don't purchase a lot from Morphe, but this palette is actually really, really pretty. And it is a collaboration with Maddie Ziegler. <sighs> what is it called? It's the Imagination Palette and it's $25. There's also lip and cheek kits and then a Dew Balm Face Gloss Stick. $25 for the palette, $18 for the lip and cheek, and then $12 for the gloss stick. And it's going to be available, oh, it's already available. June 25th is when it became available. Oh, I don't know about this. I kind of want it because those swatches look so pretty. They really, really do. Uh, but. <sighs> I'm not just, I don't have a lot of faith in Morphe's quality, I'm not gonna lie. But if you guys, if anybody has tried this palette, please let me know, because this is actually, it's really pretty. It's really pretty. Charlotte Tilbury, we have a brand new setting spray, the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray to be exact, and it is a lightweight hydrating formula to prime and set your makeup up to 16 hours and it is handbag size oil free twenty dollars for a 35 mil bottle um i don't know what ingredients are in this so i'm going to go to the charlotte tilbury website and let's see if i will be purchasing this on the charlotte tilbury website it says it's 35 dollars for 100 mil i would definitely spend the extra 15 to get the full size 100 mil well, yeah it says coming soon so it's not available yet Oh, uh, do we have ingredients? Product information. The first ingredient is water, something I can't pronounce. The very last ingredient is alcohol. That doesn't bother me because it's the last ingredient. If it was up top, I would not get it. I don't, I prefer my setting sprays or finishing mist, anything like that, just to not have alcohol within like those first six ingredients. I'm trying to do better about that. So this is something I, I think I'm gonna try it out, but I'm gonna wait for this bigger bottle to come out. It says, join the wait list. When is it coming out? It just says, coming soon. I don't know, but I'm gonna get it. I actually just got this in PR uh, like yesterday. <laughs> and it's from Nabla Cosmetics. It is the Miami Lights Collection. You have several different things here. We've got the Miami Lights Glitter Palette, $25. We have skin bronzing shades. There's four different shades, $24 each. The skin glaze two shades, $24 each. Shine Theory Lip Glosses, there's six shades, $15 each. And then a Cupid's Arrow number four, which is black, $18. Uh, it says it's going to be available already. <laughs> so it's already available and I have this. So as soon as I have some time, I'm definitely going to be playing in this. It looks gorgeous. I really cannot wait to play with the glitter. I'm not even gonna lie. I really wanna, I wanna get my hands and fingers in that glitter. From Linda Hallberg Cosmetics, this is available now. I've gotten so many questions about this, if I'm gonna pick it up or not. I'm like, uh, duh. <laughs> this is the new Infinity Palette, and it's the Infinity Glam Palette. A lot of people have been comparing this to the Divine Rose 2 from Pat McGrath. And I can definitely, just looking at this, it looks like it would definitely complement it. And the Infinity Palette is made for all over. You can use it for everything, which is really, really nice. So I just see this pairing, like using this on my face and maybe a little bit on my eyes as well as a Divine Rose. Oh my gosh, I just think it's going to look killer. Here we have Miss Jaclyn Hill's face with a bottle in front of her face. And it says this is a sample bottle, but it's going to be 
from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics and it's a setting spray. Again, this is something that I'm gonna have to look at the ingredients and see if it's something that I want to try out. Jaclyn's skin always looks amazing. Uh, but like even her, I wanted to try out her highlights, but they had, I believe they had cornstarch. I think they had cornstarch and I couldn't try those or I could try them, but I just know that those things break my skin out. Uh, so I don't know when this is coming out. It just says coming soon. I'm going to look at ingredients and see if it's something that I will test out. Available today from, okay, hold on. KVD Vegan Beauty. I just, I, I, my mind just, just does not go there when I say when I see KVD. I just I can't. Um, this is the Shake Primer. It's for your eyes. It's invisible, light as air, liquid formula. Goes on clear, so it's universal and is designed to give all eyeshadows true to pan color payoff. Twenty two dollars, cruelty free. I don't need it. I have so many really great eyeshadow primers. I'm still in love with my Anastasia one. I've been trying to use up some of my concealers. <laughs> and those are working fine. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna get this. I have already purchased all of these products. I just have not had time again to sit down and play with them. Ooh, I see a get ready with me trying new products coming real soon. The thing is I got most of these. <laughs> I actually got all of the liners, all the lipsticks, and then one bronzer and two of, so I got everything but one thing one thing. <laughs> These are all from Patrick Ta and it is the Major Headlines Collection. We have Matte Suede Lipsticks, $32 each. Precision Lip Crayons, $26 each. And then Cream and Powder Blush Duos. Like I said, I got everything except for one of the blush duos and then one of them actually looks like a bronzer duo. I got that as well and I plan on using these. I just, again, I'm, I'm trying to find the time. New skincare from Drunk Elephant. This is the E-Race Milky Micellar Water. I am going to have to, again, look and see if this has any ingredients in it that I don't get along with, but it says coming soon and it'll keep you updated. I'm going to try Drunk Elephant. Oh, there it is. Learn more. It's $28. Coming soon. Water is the first ingredient. I think I can use this. I think. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of a deeper dive on these ingredients, but I will likely test this out. Yeah, yeah. Available now, I actually already have this one. It's from Danessa Myricks. This is the light work palette. This is the one, and then there's two, which is the darker one, which is just incredible. There's so many different shades. And this palette right here, it has something for everybody from fair all the way to deeper complexion. I'm going to show you like the lightest one and the darkest one. You can see right there. And then palette two has deeper shades. But I can tell you the formula of these are incredible. They are very creamy and they melt into the skin. Beautiful. Coming soon from MAC Cosmetics in July, right around the corner. MAC has a collaboration coming out with Tiana Taylor. Oh my gosh. I love her. I think she is amazing. And I don't know what they are coming out with. It looks definitely, I mean, that lip is a little too bold for it to not have some lip products in here. I, I, I don't know what it is, but I want it. I want it. <laughs> the last products for today are from Dior. And when are these coming out? It says coming soon, July, August. So I'm not sure, but these are the new eyeshadow palettes, four palettes. Each one has five shades with different formulas. There's number 279, blues and gold, 79, black, neutral, and silver. That is one that I'm just like, I've got my eye on that palette. And then 689, bronzy, browns, and gold, 879, reds, pink, and plum. Okay, so... Dior has had some great palettes and then they've had some that are just not good at all. The, my last one, <laughs> the last ones that I got, I was not happy with. It looked like this amazing palette and then when I got it, it was very lackluster. It even had in the description that it was vibrant and all these things and it was not vibrant at all. So I don't know if I should or should not try these out. If I get any of them, I'm likely probably just going to get the one, but I don't even know if I want to risk it because these are expensive palettes and I know that I've got things like it in my collection, but if I was going to pick one of these, it's going to be that smoky one, the one with the black and the silvers. It's gorgeous. I'm not committing to it yet. I love the way it looks in the picture, 
I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. Anywho, beauties, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if there's anything that you are interested in or anything that you want me to test out for you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.